Hi everyone, welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day a staff member will be sharing a work from the permanent collection and posing discussion questions. My name is Melanie Stutenroth and I'm Associate Director of Corporate Engagement for the museum. I wanna share one of my favorite works from the, our contemporary collection and this painting is by Mark Rothko. The painting is titled Brown, Orange, and Blue on Maroon and is currently on display at the museum. So we hope you can come visit us soon and see it in person. Quite honestly, this painting stops me in my tracks when I enter the gallery. I get lost in the bold, almost hovering clouds of color in Rothko's work. Please take a few seconds and just view this work in the, in the picture I am providing. Do you like what you see? How does this painting make you feel? In art, that is all that really matters, your own experience with a painting. Allow yourself to experience this painting now. This large oil on canvas, a total of 81 inches by 76 inches, was completed in 1963 by Rothko and purchased by the Cincinnati Art Museum in 1982. This painting is part of the color field art movement that emerged in New York City during the 40s and 50s. It was inspired by European modernism and closely related to abstract expressionism. Mark Rothko was born in Russia and immigrated to the United States in 1910. Traditionally, knowing the details of an artist's life can provide context to their work. Yet in his amorphous floating shapes, Rothko is expressing emotions, and his goal is to draw the viewer in for their own emotional experience. His images seem to move, pulsate, radiate in light, and they invite you on a journey. The paintings pulsate because he used a special technique to create them. Brightly defined boundaries between colors create depth, and the use of blurred outlines create feeling and emotion. He used the technique of applying several shades on top of each other. In these paintings, Rothko broke away from the status quo and created a new style. The simplicity of the forms from such a skilled artist must have attracted the attention of many critics. Yet he pursued this originality that ultimately defined his place in art history. What do you feel as you look at this painting? That is the point. Mark Rothko empowers the viewer to determine his or her own meaning and understanding. His work requires effort from you, seeing without thinking, enjoy without analyzation. As summarized best by Mark Rothko in his own words, if you're only moved by color relationships, you're missing the point. I am interested in expressing the big emotions tragedy, ecstasy, doom, and so on. And the fact that a lot of people break down and cry when confronted with my pictures shows that I can communicate those basic human emotions. And if you, as you say, are moved only by their color relationship, then you miss the point. So this is why I really enjoy Mark Rothko's work. It is not obvious, it causes you to think and react in your own way. So thank you for spending this time with me and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow morning at 10 for another edition of Cam Look. Be healthy, stay well, and all the best to you and your family. We hope to see you very soon at the Cincinnati Art Museum.